So this is my seismograph. Do you want to point out the different parts? Here I have the marker, which will record all the information. And I'm going to raise the string a little bit to get it at exactly the right height. Then I have my roll of paper, which it will, um, the, the seismic waves will be recorded on. And I have a motor here that will get it going. As you can see, the paper will, whoops, not quite well enough. The paper will move slowly, slowly at a nice rate. Here I have my gearbox because otherwise, the, um, this little wheel here would be making 3,000 rotations per second. A little too fast, I thought my paper would run out. It would be a problem. Now we're going to put it up here to experience an earthquake. Everything's going sunny, and suddenly. The ground starts shaking. A little shake, but a little bit shaking. And then you got some big ones. Come on, girl, look at those big shakes of the ground. Big, big. Whoa, what a nice big earthquake. It's going to go quiet again. But you never know. There might just be an aftershock coming along. Oh, look at all that. It's recording it with the P waves and S waves and surface waves. We've got some coming here. Whoa, look at that size of a graph. Bravo.